The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. This is the Eagles Sports Network. I'm the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier, alongside Carson Newman, head baseball coach Tom Griffin. Griff, uh, quality game one win over the Anderson Trojans, uh, victorious 96. Got up big early. Uh, Anderson creeps back late. How do you su sum up this game one triumph? Anytime you win game one of a weekend series, I think it's always, I mean, that's the key to get the first one. And uh, we came out good uh, as far as obviously the first inning and putting up crooked numbers. Um, and then Dylan, I thought, was obviously very effective. He's been very good here at home, did a nice job. And then obviously we were able to do some things in the middle of the game. Um, and then, you know, credit to Coach Miller and his squad. I mean, they, uh, the lefty came in, did a good job keeping some zeros up. And then, um, you know, they put some things together where you've got to use your pen where you're hoping maybe not to. So, you know, credit to them for, for still battling. They kept their heart of the order off balance for the majority of the game until late. What, what was Kate doing on the mound that uh, proved to be so effective, uh, really where Anderson had their best bats? Well, it's interesting. I love you, Cav, and, and you have to deal with Benson and then talk basketball. Now you're making that shift into baseball and trying to figure out how not to talk about two, three zones and matchups and all that. So you're doing good. You shot the three-point ball very well. Very today, well, Cav. yeah, yeah. Our press was good. Um, but the slider, the slider, I mean, that's, that's his best pitch. And, um, you know, you still you can't throw it all the time, so you have to be effective with some other things. And, um, you know, the, kids, the kid, I think one of the things with Dylan, he's a very competitive kid, number one. Um, you know, I think that he's deceptive. Part of it, I think it's the way his delivery is. Some guys, some pitchers are deceptive in as far as hitters don't see the baseball very good. Um, based on where the ball's coming out of. And I think that's the case in Dylan. And then his slider is very effective. He can throw a backup slider, and then he can do the wipeout slider. So, and basically a slider, calves a ball, it goes from one to seven, <laughs> just in case. Just in case you didn't know what I'm talking that, about. Thanks for that, Griff. I so, appreciate it. But, no, he, he was good. And, you know, offensively, it was good to see. You know, Jordan Griffin had a good game. You know, he's, he's been doing very well as a young man uh, who, who's uh, coming into his own, got a really good future. And, um, you know, Sharp and go forth and, and Cage Snap had good days. So in the middle of that order also had a good day. And listen, Brett Langhorn didn't have a good day, and he's been carrying us a lot of times this year. And so when your better players don't play well, other people have to pick it up, you know. And, and we did that from the bottom part of the lineup to, to Ethan, to Sharp, to, to um, uh, Cade. They all picked up the pieces. you got to have different people carry your squad. Situational hitting was really nice today. Hit 500 with two outs for the day. Uh, hit north of 400 with runners in scoring position. Uh, what was the mentality, the mindset uh, for guys one through nine at the plate? Runners in scoring position is the key to baseball and being able to come up with those hits. We've set some goals of what we want to do average-wise. Um, I think in the beginning year we kind of struggled with that, and I think sometimes it was probably my fault. We didn't focus on it and let them know that, hey, this is a little bigger moment, you know? Um, you want to treat every at-bat the same, that you go in and you compete on every pitch. It doesn't matter whether it's a 0-0 count, 3-2 count, base, it doesn't matter. You should treat every at-bat and every pitch the same. But that being said, you have young men here who sometimes kind of get mentality drifts off a little bit. And they let white noise get into the way. And I think with runners scoring position, that's where you really can tell good hitters. Because some guys will hit with nobody on, but all of a sudden you put a man on second now, now the pressure gets cooked up a little bit. The pitcher's a little bit more finer, and that's where you find out who your good hitters are. And so today was very good to have that happen, and we've been doing better in that aspect of things, no question. Uh, what's the key to turn around uh, less than 24 hours from now and play Anderson twice more tomorrow, looking for another series win? Yeah, and that's something you're not used to. Like in basketball, they get two, three days to wait around. we got to come right back and get after it. And that's the difference in the mentality of a baseball player versus a basketball player. And a coach, too. And, a, and an announcer, too. you got to get up and work tomorrow, which will be tough. But, um, no, I think what we got to do is what we told them. they got to get rest tonight, get ready for tomorrow, and then it, it, it's over with. Now it's the next pitch. And, and that's something we've been talking about, and that's something our upperclassmen got to keep reminding guys that no matter if it's 9-1, to 9-6, to 9-8, every pitch matters. You never let up. You never give in. Griff, thanks for the time. Congrats on the win. Congrats to Marshall as well. There you go. Go herd. That's head baseball coach Tom Griffin. I'm the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier. And this is the Eagle Sports Network.